In this video, I am going to show you how you can make your own internet controlled car which can be controlled through your Android app. This project is very simple. Let's take a look what we need. We will need a chassis with two DC motors installed in it, a Node MCU board, you can buy this one in cheap for 300 to 400 Indian rupees, a motor driver board, a small breadboard, four male to female jumper wires, four male to male jumper wires. You will also need a screw and a bolt along with a spacer and the tools you need are a screwdriver so let's start our making process first of all take the chassis and the screws then place the motor driver on the chassis with the screw and nut along with the spacer and just tighten the screw and make sure the motor driver is not touching so that's it now take the breadboard peel off its tape cover and stick it anywhere like this Now take the Node MCU board and place it on the breadboard. Now take 4 male to female jumper wires Now take 4 male to female jumper wires and connect them to the input of the motor driver board. Now connect them with D0, then the yellow one with D1, now the red one with D2 and the green one to the D3. Now take two more jumper wires and connect V in and ground. Now connect the V in to the 5 volts. This one is the 5 volts. This one is ground. Now connect the V in to the 5 volts. And the ground to ground. Now we have to connect the motor 1 to motor 1 output and the motor 2 to the motor 2 output. Now, connect the mode also. now we have to connect our battery for connecting our battery I have a male to male jumper wires and a lipo battery you can use any battery if you want but I have a lipo battery so I am using this first of all connect the pins to V in and ground and screw them tightly Now connect them with the battery. If you are using a lipo battery, connect the ground, the green wire, to the black and the yellow to the 5 volts. And now the LED should glow. Okay. So this is done. Now first of all we have to upload the program from our computer. What you will need is a data cable of this type micro B. Now connect the data cable and to your computer. 
and let's see on the computer screen what code we have to upload. Now we are here at our PC screens. So firstly you have to open the Arduino IDE software which I have already opened. Now go to tools and board but here you will not find any board like node MCU or something. So to do that firstly go to files preferences. Now here at preferences you have to paste a link. I am providing the link in the description of this video just copy the link from there then click ok now go to tools boards and click on board manager here at the board manager so firstly we have to wait for some time as you can see there is written downloading platforms index Ok so the downloading is complete, now go to search and type node-mcu, here you can see ESP8266 library, just install it, just click on install and wait for some time. So now we are at our smartphone, so firstly you have to go to play store, then search B L Y N K. Then this one is the app Blink IoT for Arduino. Just install this. Now you have to open the Blink app. Just click on Blink. Click on New Project. Then name this project uh, Internet. So we are using a Node MCU. So Just click on node MCU connection type Wi Fi theme light, then click on create. Now you can see authentication token was sent to robocircuits at the gmail.com. So click OK. Now we have to create buttons. Now create button. Click name this button up. Now assign the pin number digital zero. Okay. Then click on save. Now we have to install the Blink library for Arduino. So first of all, go to Sketch, then go to Include Library, then go to Library Manager. Now wait for some time, and then search B L Y N K Blink. Now you will see the library in the options. Just click on it and install. Just wait for some time, and we are done with installing our library. So first of all go to file examples now search for blink then go to board wi-fi then click on node mcu now scroll down and you will find character authentication and your auth token here now here you have to paste the token which you get from the your email address now you will find SSID and password now you have to connect your board to the Wi-Fi so paste here the name of your Wi-Fi mine is Robo and enter your password And that's it and then you have to just go to tools port select the port 
mine is com4 and then click on upload So our project is complete. Here you can see the car is working fine. And you can control this car from anywhere in this world using a blink app. So you have to just provide your car a Wi-Fi signal and then you can control your car using your Android device from anywhere in this world. So this was the project. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. and don't forget to subscribe the channel so thank you for watching have a nice day